Hey everybody, what's going on? Old school dirt biker here. Gonna try to uh, answer a challenge that Tanker Man put out on the game of fours. Friday, December the 23rd, Octane Moto. 10 minutes after five. Wearing a windbreaker and a t-shirt. Wish I lived in Cleveland. Haha, <laughs> just joking. Anyway, first thing is, let's see, I got to do all this from memory. First thing is your four favorite drinks. Four favorite drinks. Uh, let's see. Well, I need to preface this by, I've heard some of y'all call it pop. Some of you call it soda. But here in the southeast, I'm sure Tanker Man knows this. When you go into a restaurant or something around here to order you a drink, you tell them you want a Coke. Well, they ask you, what kind of Coke do you want? And you tell them you either want a Pepsi, a Coke, a Sprite, whatever it is you want. But everything, as far as carbonated drink around here, is called Coke. Okay? So we cleared that up in the southern slang terminology. My four favorite drinks. One thing, I don't I don't need to drink it. I don't drink it that much, fat as I am. But the absolute number one, if I could drink it all the time, be hooked on it like everybody else is. Dr. Pepper. Absolutely number one favorite all time drink <laughs> is Dr. Pepper. Which I don't, I, maybe one a week now. And uh, number two, probably right behind that, I don't drink it either, is RC Cola. I always like the carbonated drinks. Number three would definitely be milk. Just just an ice cold glass of milk. Sometimes every once in a while I like a good stiff drink. If you do like a stiff drink, number four would definitely be for me. I'm not a beer drinker, but a good good glass of Jim Beam white label straight on the rocks. That is that is my favorite adult beverage that I like to drink. I might drink me one here in just a little bit. But I don't do that in moderation maybe once a month. Number two. Let's see, what was number two? Number two was things you like to eat. Well, that's kind of why I was going to the store. Man, they've redone this road. Look at this. Look at this sand right here. I hope you can still see it. It ain't dark enough. There's sand. Crap in the road. They've, they've patched some of these curves up here. Boy, it like to got me. But back to the food. Four favorite foods. I'm uh, just plain country boy. Whatever. It's just country food. Nothing special. Just like <laughs> you don't get as big as I am, but not liking all kinds of food. And my mama, she got me started on that. She was a small small woman I she uh, lived in Italy for four years in the 60s and uh, learned lived over there as a cook so when I was growing up most of the time you could go sometimes three four months at my house and not ever eat the same thing twice and most of the time I did not even know what I was eating it was it wouldn't be no fancy four-star stuff, but just, <laughs> just made different stuff all the time. But just still grew up eating the plain old country food, grandparents, everything cooked. Yeah, get off food. Need to get off of it because I'm so fat. The number one is country food, then cornbread and southern biscuits and whatever. Any kind of food. Number three, places you have lived. Well, that, that can be answered in two seconds. Uh, I always lived in the same place, five miles apart. I lived 23 years where I grew up, and me and wife's been married 26 years. Lived right here five miles away, moved five miles. I lived one year in Mississippi, in Boomville, Mississippi, in 1986 when I went to college. But other than that, always lived here. Family's been here two, three hundred years right here in this one spot. 
southern middle Tennessee, North Alabama. I right hear we're in Alabama right now. I'm in northwest Alabama. This will be in Tennessee in a minute. Get home. And number four, the main thing I wanted to do, Tanger Man, you'll probably like this. Four places I've been or traveled. Well, all of my traveling and what I like to do is pretty dependent on motorcycles. Growing up, all I've ever done is raced hair scrambles and enduros. Not a motocross guy, but 100 mile enduros and two and three hour hair scrambles in the woods, woods rider. Well, everything I've ever done relates to being around the woods, riding in the woods. Well, the absolute number one best place in America, guys, and I've I've been everywhere. I mean, from Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, every state east of the Mississippi, Wisconsin, Upper Peninsula, Michigan, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, even up in the northeast, not the very top northeast, but the northeast, all the south. But the number one place to ride in America, the best trails, the funnest, is where Tanker Man lives. Folks, it is so nice down there in the National Forest and where he rides at Camp Claiborne, Fort Polk, down in DeRitter, Louisiana, Cadiana, Lafayette, Forest Hill, Dry Prong, uh, Saline, just, just that whole area, but also included in that is Southern Mississippi. The number one best place in the whole United States to ride is one little spot, which you can't ride it no more, but it's my all time favorite is Wiggins, Mississippi, just 50 miles north of Gulfport, Mississippi. It, it, it does not get any better. When you're riding in that sand, you got just enough sand, it's not a sugar sand, but you've got traction all the time. You can just rail, rail, and rail all day long between the trees. It's like riding on a carpet. And then, that's the number one place, Southern Mississippi and Louisiana. Number two, without a doubt, and it's almost number one, but it's Sandy, Little Rudy, the rocks and little part of it. Number two is South Carolina, the entire state of South Carolina. The only negative to riding in the number two place you want to go that I've been riding in South Carolina is the Palmetto Stumps. They kind of suck. If you hit the Palmetto Stumps, it's hard to explain. If you don't know, Google it and look what a Palmetto Stump is. But South Carolina, oh God, it's great. Sumter, Pelion, Charleston. It, it, it's as, almost as good as Louisiana, South Mississippi. Number three, and this is a long way away, but it's, it's similar, is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Northern Wisconsin are loved to bike. I rode up in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, and Marquette, Michigan, in the Upper Peninsula on Lake Superior. That, folks, if, you, if you've never been up there, no matter where you're at in any other part of the country, from Chicago South, it is a whole different world, different world, in the state, Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Marquette. It, it I don't know, I can't, I'm not gonna go into it in long detail, but the Upper Peninsula, it's, it's real sandy, a lot of sand, a lot of rock, but the rock is glacier rock, glacial, however you want to say it, where the glaciers came down and they come back up and they rubbed over the rocks and they're all smooth. They're not jagged like in Missouri and Tennessee and, and shale rock. It's, it's different. Well, up in the upper peninsula of Michigan, they have what they call moon rocks. Let me stop right here and show you. Nobody behind me. That's what they call moon rocks. Well, you're riding through the woods in the Upper Peninsula. Sand trails, just railing through ferns. They got ferns that grow up there. Railing through the woods. You come up on a rock, like that house right there, if you can see it, if it's not too dark. Turn my light, turn on bright. 
you'll come up on a rock that's that big or bigger and they'll have arrows drawn on it. Well, you gotta ride up that rock to the, to the point of that and ride back off the other side. Sometimes you might have a seven foot drop off the other side to jump off, but you're jumping in the sand. That's called the moon rock section up on the mountains, which they also have skiing up in the, it's pretty, pretty hilly up in the upper peninsula up around Marquette. They have a, a ski area. But maybe some of y'all have rode the moon rocks like that. It is so weird. They're perfectly smooth and they draw arrows on them and you just ride across them. That's number three. Number three place to ride. And finally, number four. And, I, and I'm not even going to say my home place. We, right here, 20 miles from my house, I have 100 miles of trail we put on National Enduros. But this hard pack, rocky, rooty, real similar to to what Woodsman has on his, what he rides in the woods, it, it really gets old. And it, it's just rough, it, it ain't flow, it don't flow well. It, it's, it's fun to trail ride, but the number three place to ride is uh, middle central Alabama, down around Maplesville, 50, 70 miles below Birmingham. It is, it's great. It's similar to the others, but the number one, two, and three are all sanding great places to ride. Is Louisiana, South Mississippi, South Carolina, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Well, that's it for my game of fours. That's four things I've done. Places I lay up food. Spent all my time on where I rode and where I ride. That, that's the, but that's the fun thing about it. That's why I'm doing these vlogs and why we're talking right now. Are you listening to me or the six people in the United States that actually listens and might care about what I say? Almost home. We're back in Tennessee. Forgot about that. But thanks for watching my game of fours. And like I was saying, uh, spending all my time on the where I rode, but there's other places that was good too, like there's places in Ohio that's great. Tanker Man, if you've ever rode in Ohio and you think them logs, that log you crashed on, there you've never seen logs like you've seen in the state of Ohio. I'll just leave it at that. But here I am. I made it back home. I'm ready to eat supper. I wonder if it's too dark. I've never had this uh, drift ghost out this late and this dark recording. It's probably so dark you can't see. But we'll see when I download it. But again, thanks for watching. I hope every one of you have a great, great Christmas and, uh, and a great New Year's. We're going to have a good one here at the house. All the kids will be here. Three of them's here already, but two of them's coming in that don't live here no more. And uh, this is old school dirt biker. I ain't out on the road anymore. I'm at home. But thanks for watching. And I will talk to you later. See you later.